Toy Story 4, Ducky and Bunny's Big Plan by Suzanne Francis. Every day was a new adventure for Bo Peep, Woody, and their friends, they traveled from town to town helping toys, Bo had collected many useful items for this task, but her sticky hand was one of her favorites. It was very handy for getting around. With a whirl and a whip, she could fling the sticky hand, high up in the air and zip from place to place. But one day the sticky hand went missing. Bo rummaged through her skunk mobile. She found paper clips, rubber bands, a roll of tape. But no sticky hand. Nothing else seems to be missing, said Officer Giggle McDimples, peering into the skunk mobile. Where did you last see it? Asked Woody. I remember using it by the Star Adventurer booth, said Bo. Ducky and Bunny raced over at the mention of their old game booth. Oh, we know the Star Adventurer booth well, said Bunny, Ducky scowled, and the guy who runs it? Yeah, he's gotta know where it is, said Bunny, he's always taking toys and putting them on his prize wall. The plush toys would never forget the day the Star Adventurer booth employee stuck Buzz Lightyear on the prize wall, knocking them from the top prize spot, Oh ho ho! Do we have a plan for you? Said Ducky. First, Ducky and Bunny explained, they would need a distraction, the skunk mobile, driven by Bo's sheep, Billy, Goat, and Gruff, was perfect for the job, that'll keep the balloon person busy, said Ducky, while we hop on a flight, added Bunny. Ding! Going up! Ducky sang. Next, Ducky and Bunny said, they would survey the area for the sticky hand, from up above we can see the whole carnival, said Ducky, yeah, said Bunny, pointing down below, we even see some kid eating cotton candy at the top of the ferris wheel. It's sticking to his hair and all over his chin, said Ducky, laughing, <laughs> and getting distracted. Up guys, interrupted Woody. Ducky and Bunny paused and frowned as they looked over at Woody, how will that help us find the missing sticky hand? Woody asked. We are getting there, said Bunny. Next we float toward the Star Adventurer booth, said Ducky. When the time is right, we pop the balloon. Plush rush, they cheered. We scream, give up the stick hand you thief. Bunny said. Ducky laughed and added. Yeah, hand it over. Game boy, or we'll, I don't think so, said Bo, bringing them back to reality. Bo and Giggle McDimples stood there, shaking their heads. This was not a good idea, and everybody knew it, the plush rush would never work. Ducky and Bunny shrugged, yeah, you're right, said Ducky, no plush rush, but they had another plan. First, we leave a trail for the star adventurer guy to follow, explained Bunny, it leads into the funhouse, said Ducky, and right into our trap, added Bunny with a giggle. <laughs> we follow him through the twirling tube said Ducky, and into the house of mirrors, said Bunny. We wait until he's lost inside the mirror maze, said Ducky, he has no idea what's coming next. We corner him, shouted Bunny, and give him our hypnotic stare down then. Wait, interrupted Duke Kaboom, he rode over to Ducky and Bunny on his motorcycle, he had a question about this plan. You two really know how to hypnotize someone? He asked, Ducky and Bunny looked deep into Duke's eyes and nodded, Whoa! Said Duke with a gulp, Bo smiled at the outrageous plan, you know, it's really not that big of a deal, I can find another sticky hand. Ducky and Bunny shook their heads, they were determined to present Bo with the perfect plan. Here's our 100%, will absolutely work impossible to fail plan, shouted Ducky. Oh, yeah, said Bunny, this is it. Ducky and Bunny were proud of themselves. They knew they had the best idea this time. Once they were sure everyone was paying attention, Ducky took the lead telling the group they're in a plan. Step 1. We climb into our time machine. He started. We go back, said Bunny. Why back, said Ducky, to the days of dinosaurs and hot lava and giggle cleared her throat. Uh. Guys, she knew Ducky and Bunny were getting carried away again, but she had her own idea of how to complete this mission and retrieve the sticky hand. What? Shouted Ducky and Bunny, irritated by yet another interruption, I've cracked the case, Giggle announced, 
The friends all looked to see where Giggle was pointing. It was the sticky hand stuck to Bunny's back. It had been fixed to his fur the whole time. Bunny Ouch. yelped as Bo peeled it from his fur. Ducky looked over at Bunny Tum. How did that happen? He said. I guess you weren't paying attention again. Bunny frowned, or you put it there and you forgot. Why would I put a sticky hand on your back? Asked Ducky. Ducky and Bunny continued to bicker as Bo swung the sticky hand above her head, winding up for their next big adventure.